Elton Bennett was born in 1910 in Cosmopolis, Washington. One year later, the family moved to Hoquiam. All of Grace Harbor at that time was in its heyday, logging, fishing. The place was magnificently upbeat. The artwork of Elton Bennett is unusual in that it portrays a different world from most art. His artwork was based on what he lived. It was based in the working world. We don't often see our working world memorialized and honored, but my father did that. He saw work as something that human beings are put on this earth to do and that they needed to do it with joy and be recognized for the joy that they did put into their work. Life was not easy for anyone during the Great Depression years. My father ended up working at Lamb Grace Harbor at the Cosmopolis paper mill and later on on the dredge. At that point, people were struggling all around the world. Grace Harbor was in a fortunate position of having all of nature at its back door. There was hunting, fishing. If they were able to even have a garden, they could eat. By the end of the Great Depression in the 1930s, my father had moved out on the East Hoquiam Road and built himself a log cabin. Then World War II came along. He joined up, was assigned to the Seabees, and did his part. After the war, he came back home, tried to build his life back from where he had left it. When he went out with the Olympian Hiking Club on one of the weekly hikes, he met my mother. She was a girl from Kansas who had no clue about living on the coast. It was a new world to her, and they became a new world to each other. My mother encouraged my father to grasp his dream of being an artist. So she got him signed up for the GI Bill, packed him off to the Portland Art Museum, transferred her job down to the Portland metro area, and off they went. My father saw the purpose in silk screening, saw that he could take it to levels that no one else had taken it before. My parents moved back to Hoquiam. My father was working two different jobs. My mother had two girls to look after, and she was hoping that her husband would find himself and find his dream in his artwork. 1955 was a turning point for Elton Bennett. That is the point which people discovered his artwork, started buying it. After that, things started to happen. My father was able to truly concentrate on what he wanted to create. More and more, his artwork represented the world that he loved. In 1955, he was able to quit one of his jobs. In 1956, he was able to quit the day job. This was major improvement and a huge step toward his dream of becoming an artist. Elton Bennett strove to talk to the average person. 